Hey there, welcome to Mattress Nerd. My name is Becca, and in today's video, we are talking all things sheets. We'll go over all the different types, discuss thread count, and how to choose the right set for your lifestyle. Now, I have tested many, many sheets. So I've included a list of my favorite options, which will all be linked in the description below for you. Just know these are affiliate links, so we may earn a commission if you decide to buy from them, but it goes to support our work. Now all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Step one, before you buy your sheets, it's important to know your options. Starting off, we have your tried and true cotton sheets. Breathable, easy to clean, soft, easy, simple, right? Well, you may be surprised to know that there are many variations of cotton sheets. Think of it as a hierarchy. And right at the top, we've got Egyptian cotton, the highest quality out there. It's made with extra long staple cotton fibers and can be pretty expensive. But that higher price tag buys you sheets with a smooth feel that are resistant to pilling and last a long time. But authentic products should have this CEA label on them. Next, you have Pima or Supima cotton. Similar to Egyptian, these are made with extra long staple cotton fibers as well. They're also ultra smooth and durable. So what's the difference? Well, it all has to do about where the cotton comes from. Pima is native to the US, while Egyptian is native to the Nile River Valley, hence its name. Pima also tends to be a more affordable option, which may be attributed to the fact Egyptian cotton is just a tad softer and less likely to stain as easily. Next up, we have a much cheaper alternative, Upland. It's the most commonly used type of cotton for sheets and clothing, but has the quote unquote lowest quality when compared to Egyptian and Pima because of their short staple fibers. Labels like this are typically upland. At the end of the day, it's still cotton, so it's soft and breathable, but not as durable or high quality as the previous options. For colder months, it's common to switch to cotton flannel sheets. Known for their cozy feel, the cotton used for flannel is shredded and shaved to feel thicker, so you can bundle up in them to keep warm. As someone that experienced a childhood of Northeastern winters, trust me, flannel sheets are your friend. And I thank my mom for investing in them. Staying within the cotton family, we have jersey sheets, which feel like your favorite worn-in t-shirt. They're known for being ultra stretchy, buttery soft, lightweight, and affordable. However, they are susceptible to pilling over time and can stretch out easily. Last but not least, we can't move on until we talk about the two most common cotton weaves, percale and sateen. Percale weave sheets come with a crisp, freshly laundered button-down shirt feel that gets softer over time. Their lightweight feel also makes them a better option for hot sleepers or for summertime use. Versus a sateen weave, which gives the cotton a silky smooth finish, they're also a bit heavier, so they're better for colder months or those who don't sleep hot. Okay, we've officially moved on from cotton, now we're on to my personal favorite, bamboo. Bamboo is a great material for not only bedding, but a variety of goods because it's sustainable, hypoallergenic, temperature regulating, and very durable. Now when it comes to bamboo sheets, they get softer over time, won't trap body heat, and feel so luxurious to sleep on. Most commonly, you'll see bamboo as bamboo rayon, lyocell, viscose, or explicitly 100% bamboo. The difference has to do with how the fabrics are produced, with pure bamboo fibers and bamboo lyocell being the more environmentally friendly options in terms of water usage and added chemicals. That being said, they're all going to be silky smooth, hypoallergenic, antimicrobial, and temperature regulating. Next, we have a summer staple, linen. Linen sheets are known for their lightweight and airy feel perfect for hot sleepers or those living in hot climates. They're also hypoallergenic. Similar to linen pants or tablecloths, linen sheets also have a stiff feel and are bound to wrinkle, but the material softens over time after a few rounds in the washer and is a practical pick for staying cool. Now last but not least, we have arguably the most luxurious option, silk. Silk comes from silkworms, and you know that just can't be cheap. All jokes aside, silk is not only expensive because of the production process, but also because of their cool, substantial feel and luxurious look. They're also naturally hypoallergenic, but maintenance can be a pain, so you've got to commit to the care. 
Thread count refers to the number of threads, both horizontal and vertical, in one square inch of material. Essentially, it has to do with fabric density. When choosing sheets based on thread count, keep in mind there are a few materials that have a smaller number of threads that can still be very durable. For example, linen sheets will typically have a low thread count, like in the 100s, but still be high quality, while a cotton sheet would range anywhere from 300 to 500 plus to be good quality. So it really just depends. As we wrap things up, let's go over the top three considerations when choosing the right sheets for you. First up, we have climate. Are you buying for year-round use, seasonal use? Do you find that you're always hot at night or you're always shivering? Knowing your climate is going to help you find the right sheet that's gonna keep you comfortable throughout the night. Next up, we have comfort preference. Does linen feel scratchy to you? Do you always want to be wearing your flannel shirts in fall and winter? Knowing which fabrics you gravitate to is once again going to ensure that you're staying comfortable throughout the night. And lastly, we have price. Of course, budget is always going to be a factor. Maybe the idea of silk sheets is amazing to you, but they're gonna to be too expensive. So something like a bamboo sheet or a sateen weave is going to be a comparable alternative. All right, friends, that concludes our sheets buying guide video. Let me know which sheets you're thinking about in the comments below. And while you're at it, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. It always helps. Now, remember, I do have that full list linked below with all of my favorite sheets, so be sure to check that out as well. We also have a ton of content here on our YouTube channel as well as on TikTok and Instagram, so be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching. Bye.